this 26 Sports and CCTV High School Basketball presentation is presented by Cadillac Casting Incorporated. You know, Pat Briggs' ears must have been burning. I mentioned, uh, misspoke Preston Briggs' names a few minutes ago. Called him Pat. Pat, uh, you know, worked for the Cadillac Area School System a lot of years, and uh, he just happened to be right up here by us. Good to see him. Hope your family's all doing well. 43-42, Vikings with a one-point lead to start the fourth quarter. Here in a pretty big, big North Conference game, Mikey. What was your score after three, Dan? Was it 23? 23-22. Yeah, Traverse City with the lead. Yep. So, uh, so the both Vikings. teams scored as many in that quarter as they did in the half. Did. Vikings, Vikings on a... Uh, Vikings going 20, to the zone now. 19. Probably to protect Mickelson a little bit. Traverse City patient, moving the ball around the outside right here. Schwanicke at the top. See this defense, this 2-3 is really, you're really talking through where the matchups, you don't want to nope. lose people. Gold cool shot is off. Here come the Vikings. Great rebound right there by Logan Wild. He gets it down the floor to Klotz. I didn't Mickelson think, has it. I think he thought that his that was his dribble, but I think it was a deflection. He probably could have maintained. Body foul right there by Goldcool. Henry Goldcool, number five for Traverse City. He's saying he wanted a push off on Kale, and you know Kale's just stronger. That's another player out there with three team fouls. This could get very interesting late with uh, the the players that have three. Let's see what the Vikings run on this inbounds and uh, turnover yeah, they right were there. Looking, looking to squeeze that pass into Aiden. With the steal right there is Jack Boswick. Schwanicke penetrates and misses. He's had such a good third quarter. I'm surprised to see that didn't go in for him. Raphael underneath. Get in there. Aiden Raphael and one. From Baker. Nice find. Extends the Vikings lead to three with a chance to get to four from the free throw line. As we see number 32 set to check back in for Traverse City, Jack Sherwin. Yeah, they won't keep him out long. Not much longer. Three. Yep. 15 is Sam Schmidt. He's he also, stepping off the floor here. He also has three. Aiden Raphael, who was one of our uh, pregame player interviews tonight. Well-spoken young man, as was Jake Roberts. Vikings by four early in the fourth quarter. Wanake keeps his dribble, penetrates. The Vikings are content to try to stay off him a little bit. A little early foul up top on the body right there before I think the, the charge fall, probably on 22 on, right on there Logan. for the Vikings. Is that hey, right, the, Logan Wild? The Vikings is 2-3. It's really like almost in a 1-1-3 one, one, with Tip finding to go and go man on the out of bounds. Nice hang in the air right there by Goldcool. You know, between he and the Briggs kid, both being left-handers, they're pretty tough to guard there. Vikings still by two. You can hear the coaching staff call their five-out offense all the way up here, Mike. I don't know if you could. I think There's a backdoor cut. Well, nice job by the Vikings to maintain their composure. Hey, look at Logan Wild. He gets that shot block, and he, and he grabs on, maintains possession with double team, and finds tip for three. You know, uh, Logan Wild, just a junior right there, and, and you can hit the hammer. The nail with the hammer right on the head there, Mike. Just real patient, kept his composure, did everything right underneath. And as a Here result. Here he is again. Here he is again. Oh, that jump ball call, I believe, right there. They got going to get a foul on Sherwin? I don't know. They I think are. maybe he was. Oh, They're getting a foul on Jack are. Sherwin. That's his fourth. We'll see if he stays in. I think that is the right call. He came in late. And came um, in late. Yep. Vikings are going to go all the way down the floor. The Logan Wild Logan will be Wild shooting. Step into the line. Vikings by five. You know, yeah. sometimes these these plays don't show up in a scorebook, but that was a, you know, gets his shot blocked, possesses, maintains, and that great find to 
to locate tip behind the arc. It's and then really he comes down here again and gets another one. And it was a solid defense by all five guys out there by the Vikings on that possession. He's long on that. Nice box out right there by Tobin Schwanicki. This is so you see, see this zone, how they're really looking, and Tip's just there to really help. And they gotta, they're just going to talk their way through it. Well, the Vikings are content to give up that three. They know, mm -hmm. uh, you know Traverse City is just lethal inside. And they have not shot the ball especially well from the outside. One thing you, you talk about is really big right now with Virginia in college basketball is that pack line defense and really just getting in, communicating, staying in front of players, and, you know, with the college shot clock, just limiting a good shot, just making them work and, and just kind of being more patient defensively. Great possession here by the Vikings. The team as can we be. probably had a 20 passes to that shot, which is just a little off. You know, and once again, why? We can be just stay, stay patient. Nope. Let's, let's keep working. There isn't a shot clock here. No. Nope. I do like Mickelson getting that shot opportunity. He's, I don't think he hey, caught it quite right. That he's was a hit travel. three tonight. Yep. Nope. That shot's off. This rim has been very unkind to the nope. Trojans in the second half. 4.35 to go. The Vikings by five. You know, with this lead and uh, taking their time, there's a nice move. Baker just uh, yeah. just kind of threw that up, though, unfortunately. Looking for the floater in the yep. lane. Yeah, that's a good I'm call. For travel. Both feet. Another empty possession right there for Traverse City. Hey, we want to let everybody know our sponsors here tonight. We have uh, our presenting sponsor, which is CCI, Fox Motors, Pizza Plus, and Cadillac Tire. Thank you to those area businesses. We appreciate all that you do to help us bring you these broadcasts this year of uh, high school boys basketball. We'll get the girls in the home gym here soon with you, Mike. We'll get them on the, on the broadcast. Looking. And then uh, hockey real soon, too. Yeah, our first one will be December 20th. It'll be our first home game for the girls. A hey, great great play by Levi, seeing that uh, yeah. Gold Cool is going to come in for a steal, and he just accelerated, stayed in front. I, I don't think Levi uh, palmed the ball there, carried it, if you will. It was just he, a high dribble. I think he got ready to pick it up, but his hand stayed on no. top. He never no. – he never – well, put his hand on the bottom. And I think that put Gold Cool in a position, and uh, certainly they don't want to pick up the foul there. Sherwin's heading back to the scorer's table. 3.50 to go. The Vikings step to the line, shooting just one and one. From here on out, though, they get two from the line. Nice by Levi Klotz. Vikings by six, 3.50 to go. Klotz steps to the line for his second one. Levi looks solid on that first one. This one's yeah, just great the same. Stroke. Great stroke. And we've got a full timeout here by the Vikings. You know, while we uh, while we do that, Mike, just want to let everybody know that uh, the DVDs, those kinds of things, if you want to sponsor, um, you can check out mynews26.com or you can call the station at 577-1844. And uh, the folks there can get you all that information. Well, what a game, huh? Yeah, it's been a fantastic basketball game. Uh, back and forth in the scoring. And then right now managing the foul trouble, really, for both teams. A lot of, uh, a lot of players with three. And then Sherwin has four. Sherwin's the only player with four. Central. A lot of guys with three. Well, but key players, you know, the Vikings with this seven-point lead, they can afford to be patient offensively, and I hope they stay in their offense. They look a little shaky if they're trying to go just to a stall. Mm -hmm. And Traverse City so quick defensively, and, and with those long arms, you got to make sure you're pass. Yeah, I think you got to make sure like you're screen. And I think you're right about just staying patient and running it, running it fast, right? Crisp passes, uh, fast cuts, fast pop-outs, and then um, maybe put TC in a instance where they have to foul. All right. But this zone defense has looked really <laughs> good has. for the Vikings. They've done a nice job communicating. See if they stay zone or go man. Uh, so so Briggs inbounds it to Schwanicki. They're going to come out and play a little man. He penetrates to his left. He is just solid going to his left. Yep. Real easy two-point basket. And they jump to a press. 
Mickelson very patient back there. Briggs, or excuse me, Baker. Oh, no. Potts just lost it. And they got him for a travel. That's kind of a lucky break for the Vikings. Oh, That's, you know, Levi's just unsure there. Yeah, he should have, you know, either you're going to pull it out or you're going to attack. Yep. Right? And I think he could have attacked and got that bounce pass to Aiden Raphael on the backside on that cut. Vikings get fortunate on that one with three and a half to play. Four shot. No. I don't like that shot either, Mike, but you know what? The Vikings will take it. Levi is come. solid, solid, solid from out there. That shot. They're going to come back. Oh, he just stepped out of bounds. No call there other than it looked like had, Gold Cool stepped on the line. I think he touched the line first and then yep. went airborne. This is a good press right here from Traverse City, yep. at least the first look from it. And what they want to do is mm -hmm. if they don't steal, it's just speed the Vikings up. Be patient. Yep. Cadillac did not, has not played against the press when they played against Lennington. It was not played very well. I look at it this way if I'm coaching. There's nothing wrong with a 10-second call because we play good defense. You know what I mean? Certainly you don't want that, but a turnover's worse, I think. Mm -hmm. So here, getting into your offensive set, being patient. Pull them out. Oh, pull them out. Run your offense. Penetrate. You've got a lot of good solid free throw shooters out there. Nice catch by Mickelson. That was That's not fine. an easy one That's right tough. there. 2.51 to go. The Vikings by five. You're watching an awesome basketball game here on 26 Sports and CCTV. Traverse City Central prominently figured as maybe the best team in the Big North. Vikings have given them everything that they wanted and more. Nice job by Aiden right there. Logan oh. Wild working. Logan Wild getting to work oh. down low. I mean, nice drive and miss and rebound and a put back mm -hmm. and then draws the foul. And Traverse City, I like everything they did there up until they forgot to rebound. Mm -hmm. You know, I think they just kind of figured we're bigger, taller, we're going to get it. And Logan just battled, out hustled them. Let's see how he does here from the free throw line. He does get two. As Traverse City has now put the Vikings in the double bonus. Logan Wilde, 6'2 junior, getting his second free throw with 2.37 to go. Misses them both. Oh, well, yeah. That's a good call. You know what? It's not going to hurt anything at this point, other than it's a third foul on Mickelson, but it's only a 16 foul. And without that call, the ball goes to the Vikings there. Schwanicke, they're going to try to keep him from going to his left. Good screen up top. Gold cool. Oh, that's too easy. Well, got to make him work a little harder than that. Down to a three-point lead. Here come the Vikings. Well, probably didn't need the dribble right there. Didn't need to shoot either. And no, that's probably where you're falling out of bounds and you're thinking, I got to call that timeout. Give credit to Traverse City as they have battled back and had a chance to tie window. right there. Good. Oh, hey, we got a good hustle. Slow down. Sherwin right there. Let's see what the Vikings want to do now. There's a lot of time left, and this game there. got close. Yes. Patience. Patience. Nice. <laughs> he did, Aiden. Well, just speeding you up just enough and That's those the long idea. arms in there. That's the idea. Yep, absolutely. That's always the idea. They want you to play a little faster than you are prepared to play. The Vikings have been uh, solid on the defensive end here. They need another one right here. You know, they've broken the press every time down pretty easily. No, haven't finished just, on it, have just they? Just hasn't finished. And... Um, that's Gold a Cool with Gold a cool. long three. Wow. Ties almost. it up with 1.30 to go. I think that's almost a four-pointer, wasn't it? Traverse City gets out of the press right now. Knots the game at 51. Henry Gold cool with his first three-pointer of the game. Raphael. Oh, Ooh, that's a body. Surprised he didn't get that one on Sherwin. That's got to be called. Oh, that's all right. 1.18 wow. to go. It wasn't called. you got to play defense. Oh, boy, he came in hard, didn't he? He did. Two 
TC content to hold the ball now and uh, kind of mirror what we saw maybe at halftime. So they've pulled it out right now. If you missed the first half action, uh, Cadillac kind of held the ball for the last couple of minutes. Forty-seven seconds to go. This is uh, Preston Briggs, Tobin Schwanicky playing catch back and forth between number thirty-three for the Vikings, the Levi Klotz. All right, we're down under thirty. I think with about five, six more seconds, we'll see Traverse City kind of pick some things up. I'd like to see the Vikings keep it out of Schwanicky's hand right here. Timeout called with 19.2, Mike. What play would you draw up? What would you do? Uh, just get the ball to Schwanicky and let him get to the rim. Um, a little, maybe a little two-man game, three-man game between Schwanicky, Briggs. I think they're going to cool. go five out and get him the ball. You uh -huh. might see a, a screen from Sherwin. Um, but he's just he's gotten to the rim whenever he's wanted to in the second half. He just, you know, he's too quick. Yep. And so... And but then they could uh, maybe drive and kick to, to gold cool like get that last three. I think that's going to be an option as well um, if they decide to double. And what you're thinking as an as a offensive coach in this situation is whatever we do get, whether we make it or not, we don't want to have any time on the clock for Cadillac to get to the other end of the floor. So, you know, and the Vikings on the defensive side, you know, Certainly, I'm sure they're thinking Schwanicky is going to be doing something with the ball. we got to react off of this. So Maybe I wonder, look to draw a charge. I wonder if Cadillac wants to, um, you know, right out of this, if they decide to trap right away or if they try to deny nope. deny Schwanicky the ball. Nope. Um, to see what they can get out of this. You know, and it's early in the year, and you haven't seen a lot of uh, shot attempts from teams, and you're wondering, you know, I don't think I personally would call – Somebody out there that you know, might not be solid from the free throw line and, and foul them, uh, not in a tie game. Uh, but other coaches would. I think they're going to let them get it in here, and, and they're going to they say they're going to go man. So here it comes. Just you know, where's your help going to come from? Yep. I think yeah. Mickelson. They're going to make him go to his left. Here comes the screen. They're going to nope. they're going to blitz it. They're going to switch it. Nope. Try to drag him through. Yeah, there he goes. That's off. Mickelson, come out, come Rafael out, come with a rebound. Out. Shoot it. Oh, I'm talking to them. Oh, we got the Cadillac uh, coaching staff trying to get there. the timeout. The referees never looked at it. I don't think it was called. Not called. We're going to have a little discussion between the referees and the officials, and then uh, we'll see what's called and I whether would, we have I overtime have or a second right to there. go. I thought he was going to call it right away at 4.3. Oh. Oh. And I'm not sure if that's when uh, I saw Coach Bensonberg call the timeout. I know I did see it on I the catch. I saw it really late. I'll tell you the one thing about Schwanicky attacking. He has a great hesitation, but I really think he carries the ball and that that ball seems to sit in the palm of his hand, which that guy that quick does not need any more advantage yeah. nope. And I think he gets away with a little bit of a carry on that. And so good job by the Vikings defending. Great rebound by Raphael. Um, hey, they had a chance. Yeah. I thought Klotz was going to try to pull the trigger there. And we got a little free basketball. Yeah, Klotz has got to understand time there and get some kind of a shot off. Now what I think, Dan, we've talked about foul trouble. Now looking at a four extra minutes of play with Guy sitting with yeah. three, Sherwin sitting with four, and now you have four to play. Yep. Um, so I think you're going to see that. Uh, that could be something that comes into play now with the extra time added. And he fouls by Traverse City, and the Vikings get two free throws other than uh, some player control fouls. Um, Traverse City, the Vikings with their next foul. Traverse City does finally get into the one and one there. Four minutes overtime here in high school basketball. Starts with a jump ball. We saw Mr. Uh, Preston Briggs win this jump pretty easy to start the game. He's got probably a couple inches in height and another four in arm length over Aiden. So what do you think as far as, you think teams, Dan, as far as strategy, they're going to look to hold? Or do you think we're back into some free-flowing uh, four-minute you know, basketball here? You got a senior-led team here by Traverse City. I like them going right into their offense. 
Hey, that game was not close to getting out of the 40s. 51 all. Uh, it was it was right on the edge of uh, the 40s. Matter of fact, if it had stayed in the 40s for them, we would have won this thing. Vikings uh, back in the zone right here. Schwanicki, they're going to let him sit there. Preston Briggs with a short corner jump shot that falls short. Vikings come out of the rebound. Logan Wild with that one. Baker, everything but in. That's a We're foul a call foul yeah. on Gold Cool. Vikings with two good looking shots. Uh, I think uh, Levi looked a little nervous on his shot going up there. Didn't look real confident. Great move by Baker. Baker with a solid move. His just didn't roll in. He's going to step to the line and. Uh, Goldcool has fouled out here, Mike. He's our first casualty. Henry Goldcool picks up his fifth just a few seconds in here to overtime. I, I tell you, he played a really good game. There's, I mean, I'm not sure how many points he had. What did he finish up with, Dan? Yeah, give me a minute. I'll do some math right here. Looks like 10. That uh, was a quick count right there. Um, yeah, the 10. But you got to uh, remember, uh, as a team, they only had 20 at halftime, 22. Well, he, so. he had the 10. He had the big three uh, that tied yeah. this thing. All 10 of his in the second half here. And uh, he had some really good rebounds and then uh, a couple of blocked shots. Runstrom's going to check in for Logan Wild right here. See there. Vikings by two, 3.20 to go. He's going to sit back in this zone. Well, this overtime action is yeah, brought tip. to you by our sponsors, CCI. Go ahead, Mike. I'll get the others in yeah, a minute. Yeah, tip just protecting underneath. Yeah. That's the first one that looked really good off of his hands from out top. Yeah, he hit the one early in the first half, but I think that's just too easy for him there. They're going to get Sherwin yeah, now. Sherwin, I think that's fifth. his fifth, isn't it? They're going to get him. Uh, great ball fake by Aiden. Yeah, our sponsors, our other sponsors then, Fox Motors. Cadillac Tire and Pizza Plus. Thank you to those area businesses. If you're out and about in the Cadillac area and you stop in or you see anybody that, from those places, please uh, please give them a big shout out. Tell them thank you for bringing us and helping us bring us the basketball action here on 26 Sports and CCTV. Aiden ties it up, 54-54. I talked to John Raphael before the game. He was sure proud of Aiden. All things he's accomplished. And Aiden knocks them both down pretty calm there. Not too many times you see John out of an ice rink and into a gym, but uh, nice of him to be here tonight for this match. Vikings by one. That's Preston Briggs. This is Tobin Schwanicki. Nice help defense right there. That's off and long. You see Tip come in the middle, secure the rebound. Really nice game plan the Vikings have had in place tonight by this step. I watched them in practice earlier, and they've uh, – Oh, that could have been a foul right there on Schwanicki. He knows it. Well, there's a great cut. Mickelson finishes and draws the foul off the pass from Tip Baker. I think that was number 11 there. Mitchell Stocknick with that foul. We'll see. Nope, I was wrong again. That's Jas Jack Botts with 21. What a good find by Baker on the cut by Kale. 2.14 to go. Mickelson's free throw attempt is off, but the Vikings do have a three-point lead. Three-point leads have not been, a, been very safe tonight. I like the way the Vikings are using Baker in the yeah, middle right of that. Middle. Just kind of when he can. He's cutting down on Schwanicki, mm -hmm. keeping on the him out of the middle. Yep. Good Just time out here around. by the coaching staff of Traverse City. A lot of time to go. Well, Mike. These are the fun ones. Oh, what a, hey, like you mentioned before, a, it's the second Big North Conference game for the Vikings this year. They have the win against Gaylord. Uh, but to get this matchup early with Central, luckily at home, 
uh, early in the in the schedule for the Big North. But that is a great basketball team Central has. But the game planning tonight by Cadillac. Um, just been a lot of strategy too, going back and forth, the zone, the man, you know, and then the foul troubles come into play, clutch shooting. You know, Tobin Schwanicke is just so fast. When I was caught talking with uh, Coach Benzenberg before the game, one thing he said to me a couple of different times was, we want to keep Schwanicke going side to side. Mm -hmm. And the Vikings, for the most part, have been able to do that, especially with this zone, Mike. I think with, I think you're right. If you go back and look at the, the times he got to him, I think it was against the man-to-man -man defense where he was able to just accelerate and get to the rim. But uh, with this zone, they've, they've kind of got him moving from side to side a little bit. Haven't used that ball screen on Levi Klotz up top to free him up to attack a little bit, but they've done a nice job just switching over it, dropping Levi back in. Setting up for a, a really exciting finish. Maybe will not be finished at the end yeah. of this two minutes here. We'll see, might head to double. Preston Briggs with the inbounds. He gets Boswick, it comes over here to Sam Schmidt and back to Schwanicke. He eyed that three, gets the screen Here's up the top. Screen. Help, the help by tip. Runs from with some really nice help. That finds Preston Briggs in the corner. And that is a man rebound that, right there uh, by Cale Nicholson. That was something else. You know, Cadillac has had, we've had a few big men over the years. This is one of our teams where we just don't have um, anybody really big to play in the middle. It was that way even last year. Uh, we did have Jake Kohani getting some minutes in there uh, in the middle. But Cadillac has to get by sometimes on just great defense, great positioning, fronting the big men, getting help in the back. Nice possession right here. The Vikings are content with a three-point lead to get a good shot, and they get Levi it. Levi Klotz is going to stretch the How about the lead. Levi Klotz? He says, uh, hey, we'll just we'll add three more. Ice water in that guy's veins. He's uh, three threes, and he's three for three from the free throw line. Briggs to match it. That's not going to be there. Nicholson. Nixon over the back. I got think we do got that call. Yep. That's a good call. He was. Boswick probably wants that fall anyway. We don't want any time to run out the clock. Six-point lead for the Vikings. Under a minute to play. And I think Cale Nicholson going to the line. He has... He has really good timing. You watch him, he gets up and he finds that ball at the highest point that he can actually get to it. And he's got very, very strong hands. Good, strong There's hands. not too many times where his fingertips come off that ball. Things are Have. looking pretty good right now for the Vikings, but I, we do know that that Traverse City uh, full court press I have challenged Kale. the Vikings. I have Kale for 17 right now. And see, so you can see you can get uh, Schwanicki full head of steam here. Good job by Tip stepping in. He steps back, misses. Rebound from Goldcool is off, or Briggs, excuse me. Nice job by Baker not to uh, let anybody follow him. There it comes on Goldcool. Kills up a few seconds. Yep. Preston Briggs with that foul. That'll send uh, Tip Baker back to the Vikings, or excuse me, back to the free throw line. We hear the uh, Cadillac Crazies, the fans of the high school students here doing the I Believe cheer in front of Kale, or excuse me, Tip, and he drains it. Tip is seven for eight on the night from the free throw line. With 16 points now. Roll it in there. Oh. And here comes Schwanicke on the run. He stops, pops off the glass and off. Raphael is going to go to the free throw line. I tell you, Dan, big time credit to the Vikings after having that seven, it was a seven point lead they had down the stretch and letting that get away from them. But then to come back out and then in the four minute overtime stretches to eight with 26 seconds to play. Um, hey, a lot of credit for those boys yeah. for keeping their head up. And, and I really like the last, oh, three, four minutes of regulation as the Vikings with a pretty comfortable lead, not comfortable, but a pretty solid lead, gets taken away from them, and we go to overtime. And you'd think Traverse City had all the momentum at that point, and uh, the Vikings come out uh, just with a great amount of courage and a great amount of uh, mental fortitude here in overtime to lead by nine. Vikings have 
eight three-pointers in the night. They have uh, started strong all from the three-point line this season and have continued it for uh, their fourth game tonight. Am I right on that? We looked at some stats before the game, Mike, and we saw three Viking players at or near 50% from the three-point line to start mm -hmm. Logan Wild tonight's game, and three in the near 30, 33%. Yep. Yeah, Logan Wild 50%, Kale Mickelson 50%, Tip Baker 44 and Then you go Levi Klotz at 32, Runstrom and Evan Bohr at 29. But then on the season, so far leading scorers as far as uh, points per game, Aiden Raphael 13.7, Mickelson 11.7, and Tip Baker 10.3. And um, you know, Aiden had one at the half. Have him for 12, I think he might be at 14. Raphael with one free throw yet to go out of this timeout. Sixty-three, fifty-four, Vikings. This to make it a ten-point lead is solid. Wow. What a what an overtime period for the Vikings to to play this zone defense the way they did, and then Tip's gonna get a steal. Smart of him. Just pull it out. Just gonna pull it out. Take the clock off. This gives you a chance to run on some things that might help in a you know a closer game. The Vikings are gonna get a win here. Traverse City not gonna foul. Oh, and I guess I was wrong. Mitchell Stocknick picks that up, and Charlie Rundstrom will hey. step to the line with two free throws. If you had the over 10, come on, Charlie Rundstrom. That's right. like to watch that bad beats once in a while on the ESPN <laughs> yeah. where they, they talk about those kinds of things, the wagering behind the scenes. and uh, uh, some Of course, it doesn't happen here in high school basketball. Yeah, it does then, not. But Absolutely. just, the, uh, like I said, the fun of it. Well, well what a night. Um, for the Vikings, this is, uh, I tell you, I watch them, Dan, because we practice, the girls practice either right before or right after the boys practice, and I, I see these guys prepare. Um, I've learned a lot from, from this coaching staff on how to prepare for these games and, and what you need, to, what kind of time you need to put in. Uh, they, they had a great game plan in place tonight. Yeah, you know, the Vikings, uh, we've been talking about Coach Benzenberg, but you mentioned the staff. You know, they've got uh, solid, solid assistant coaching going on with uh, Mr. Dan Alto, Mr. John Emmington, and Mr. Eric Runstrom. And then on the bench, you also have Todd Baker and Jason Wild, who are the JV coaches, always helping out and uh, extra set of eyes. But they, they are, I, they, they do a nice job communicating with each other. You watch them in practice, they, they have uh, equal air time to, to communicate with the kids. I did pick that up with, with my coaching staff. We have currently in place with the girls team. Uh, yeah, you got having, a pretty solid group there too, Mike. Having Dave Simons and Paul Seeley in practice and then uh, kept Damgard on the bench. We have, we just, I'll tell you what, I can't say enough about our first game. Uh, the girls did a great job playing, but the coaches that were there on the bench coaching the girls during the game. Uh, it was fantastic. So Charlie does make one of two right there. Vikings by 11 right now. I don't think they're going to defend much here. Preston Briggs steps to the top of the key. His shot is off at the buzzer. And the Vikings come away with a huge victory here tonight by 11 over Traverse City Central. Mike and I will be back with a little post-game wrap-up and some thoughts. We'll take a short break, everybody. You're watching high school basketball here on 26 Sports and CCTV.